loved being cared for by your family and friends there until you get there. They are not alone. They are still watching over you. I wanted to bring up this idea of personalities, though, because I know that in my life, there are people that I really get along with and that I really don't. And I know that some people feel like they are maybe different and they don't fit in. But the truth is, is that we all fit in. We are a beautiful puzzle that God has created. And we all have a piece in that puzzle. We all fit. And if you feel like you really do not relate to many people, it's okay. It doesn't mean that you do not have people waiting for you at home. It is just the journey that you have chosen to go on here. If you do not get along with your parents, it doesn't mean that you will not be greeted by them or greet them at home with a wonderful hug because there is love and understanding when we get there and we understand why our dad left us at three or why our husband walked out the door when we had two kids. We will understand why we chose to be gay or transgender. We will understand all of this. And by the way, at home, you can be whatever you want to be. And different lifetimes, we are different genders. We can choose to be, I should say. I don't know of anyone that hasn't been another gender or the other gender. But so if you go home, you could be male or female. So as far as judgment on gays and lesbians and transgenders and all of that, it's interesting because at home, it's just another hat that you would wear. So for instance, if my friend Chris is transgender and I see them at home, and they are the masculine form of Chris, or the feminine, I'm going to know it's them, because I know their soul. Just like you can choose to be whoever you were, you can wear, it, it, you know, wearing, wearing um, lifetimes, and wearing, who, you know, putting on a persona from a different lifetime, is, is simply at home, like changing clothes. So that's why when I have entities speak through me, they come through as you recognize them as you remember them, even though at home, you know, they may be a flapper and they may love flapper clothing and, you know, pearls, they may come to you in work boots and overalls because that's how you remember your grandma. So believe in yourself and the goodness that is within because that has always been there, not just through this lifetime, but through your multitude of lifetimes. Your personality is beautifully and wonderfully created over the course of this this universe, really. Your likes and dislikes are yours and uniquely yours because of what you've experienced. And that makes you a beautiful person piece of the puzzle of existence. Do not doubt your self-worth. Do not feel that you are an odd duck. We are all odd ducks if you really want to get down to it. We are all a little bit odd because we are coming from such different places, each one of us. Even if you grew up exactly the same you still have your other lifetimes to fall back on to make you such a unique individual. And let go of the judgment of others because they are different, because they have different viewpoints. Perhaps they have a different religious belief than you or 
They like different music. If that really riles you up, have different career choices. We all are in the same place. And we all are speaking to the same God, just in a different language. But across religions, even if you do not believe in God at all, we still go to the same place. And I am so appreciative of that fact. And that fact alone gives me so much peace to know when I lost my daughter at birth and I was raised Catholic, so I've got Catholic guilt. I remember even as what I know as a psychic medium when I lost her, I still had a very real fear that I was not going to see her again because she was not baptized. And that was a really hard, uh, real uh, fear of mine that just came through me. To have that moment of worry of, oh no, she's not baptized. And then to further have this understanding through how many of our clients I've read for now in the last four months, countless, over, over 50 at least, 100, I'm not even sure at this point, to know that that is not the case, that baptism does not save you, that going and pledging your allegiance to a certain religion does not save you. We go to the same place. If you choose to believe in a certain religion, believe in it because you believe in your heart. But don't for a second know or think that just because I choose to believe something different doesn't mean that you're more entitled than me or I'm more entitled than you. I made it through First Communion. I didn't make it through Confirmation as a Catholic, as a child. So I don't know where that leads me as far as if, if, that, if Catholics are the only way to go. God help us all if that's the truth. But regardless of if baptisms or godparents or any of that other religious dogma that we throw on ourselves. If you're going to have a quinceanera, if you're going to have a party because you're, or a, a, um, oh my God, it's five o'clock in the morning and I can't recall, the, a bar mitzvah, and have a bar mitzvah because it's a good party. I like parties. I love parties. So throw a party and throw that, that mitzvah. Throw it for the tradition of it. Throw it because that is something that's been happening for hundreds of years. But to believe that that's the only way to heaven is like looking at the sunset and saying the sunset is only red when in fact the sunset has so many different colors. There are so many different interpretations of how to get home and we're all just trying to make our way who you are now is who you've always been, but you've grown. And in this time, lifetime, the idea is to grow. And we are forever changing into a new person. So you are not the same person you were 10 lifetimes ago. Of course, because you've grown and your experiences have taught you and led you here. And now that you are safe and you are loved by so many unseen. Any fears you have right now, I want you to give it to your guides. I want you to give them to your ancestors that are still around you. And they're still around. Even if you never met them, they are still around. I have learned this in a very real way the last few weeks that I can share in another podcast. But just because you didn't know them in this life does not mean you don't have a connection to them. So give your fears up to them. Give your fears up to God. And give your judgment, please give your judgment up and let your judgment go. 
there is no good in judging others just because they are different. And if you find yourself bugged by what someone else does or says, figure out why it's bugging you. Because it has to do with something inside you, not the other person. But judgment is one of the most harmful things that we can do to another person on this earth. A different skin color, a different belief system, a different gender, a lack of gender. We are all working towards the same goal. We are all uniquely one piece of the puzzle. No one is better than another. We all have our special gifts. And hopefully you recognize that gift and you're giving that out to the world. What can you do today to make the world a little brighter? Can you let someone in in traffic? Can you smile at someone walking down the street? Can you give your kid a big hug? Can you call your parent that you haven't spoken to in a few weeks and tell them you love them? What can you do today to make the world a little brighter? Be like the lupine lady, lupine, lupine lady and spread your love out. I am sending all of you love and light today and every day. Thanks for listening and hanging on to me for 41 minutes. If you have any questions about this podcast, if you'd like to get in touch with me for a reading, you can reach me at one-question.net. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash one question at a time. And I'm on Instagram at the number one question at a time. Thanks for listening, everyone.